Here we are simplifying radicals. Right now, none of these in this form are like radicals, so we're going to work on reducing each one to simplest form first, and then see if we can combine any of these. So the root 12 can be broken down into root 4 and root 3. Remember, our goal is always to break it down where one of the factors is a perfect square. The root 18 can be broken down to root 9 times root 2. 27 will be root 9 times root 3. And root 50 will be root 25 times root 2. So now we're going to go ahead and take the square root of all of the perfect squares. So 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 minus 3 root 3 plus 5 root 2. And now after we have reduced all of them, we see that we do have like radicals. Um, here we have a root 3 and here we have a root 3 and here we have a root 2 and here we have a root 2. So we can go ahead and combine these like radicals together. We're going to add the coefficients only and the radicals stay the same. So 2 root 3 minus 3 root 3 gives us minus root 3. And then 3 root 2 plus 5 root 2 is plus 8 root 2. Now we have two radicals um, that are both in simplest form and they are not like radicals, so we have simplified this as much as we can, and this is our final answer.